Hi everyone and welcome and thank you again for coming back to my channel. I know we're in the middle of vet season and summer's right on the edge of starting and you guys are busy. So taking time out of your day, your evening to join us on the YouTube channel really means a lot. It is wonderful to have you come back. And as promised, today we're going to be talking about Corvette racing. Oh, and before we go, yes, I have a few small giveaways for you guys as well. Now, if you think about it, when Corvette first became a user-friendly sports car, Corvette got back into racing and the popularity continues to grow worldwide. Now, this weekend being the 24-hour Le Mans is something very special indeed. I had an opportunity to attend the Corvette Racing Dinner, part of the National Corvette Museum Bash event this past April. And what a pleasure to hear Doug Feehan speak. I can't think of an event that we run in this room that has more people that are sitting here right now. The museum is beginning to realize how important an element that Corvette racing is, not only to the history of Corvette, but to Corvette as we go forward. You know, uh, Harlan and his group, Kirk, Tatch, they're not just going to work at the beginning of the day to earn a paycheck. They're fully vested in this product. It's, it's like Corvette is our child. There's a lot of different parents, from guy at the factory, to the engineering staff, to the design staff, and obviously to the race team. And obviously to you. Because if the car wasn't important to you, you wouldn't be here tonight. So when we sit on the sidelines and behind the curtain and we're working to build product, I want you to know that we're doing it with you in mind, not just to make a paycheck and get paid on Friday. We want to make sure whatever we're turning out, whether it's a new ZR1 or whether it's going to be the next generation Corvette, we do that with you in mind. Having done this all my life and, and grown up in Detroit and know nothing about automotive, I can tell you that there is not another manufacturer in the world that has one-on-one -on -one relationships with their customers and uses that to determine what they're going to build. So let's, uh, are we ready with the video? We're going to talk, we're going to show a little bit about what we did last year. I'm going to spend a couple minutes talking about what we did last year, a couple minutes about what we did this year. We believe even the most successful team has room for improvement. Incremental growth is a theme that runs deep at Corvette Racing. It is rough, down this front straightaway. DT will cover about 155 miles an hour. Watch this. Dives to the inside. Huge commitment there. Look at the wall on the left. Extra to the right. Teamwork and dedication to victory. We will never stop learning. Throughout the season, there are a handful of moments that define your success. For Corvette, in 2017, Antonio Garcia's drive to Seabrook was the first.
always showing their support and it's with us for the long haul. Having the discipline to focus on the big picture of success rather than the top step on the podium of each race is what sets up our champions from the rest. Synergy between pit work, strategy, and race setup creates a well-oiled machine. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. championships home and that's what we do and and i think that this little video pretty much captured captured all of that now i think you guys would agree with me that this car is the best looking one on the racetrack but what about inside the race car in this segment oliver gavin takes us inside the c7r corvette race car I'm driving the number four C7R with Corvette Racing here. I drive with Tommy Milner. I'm just going to show you some of the features of the new C7R. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit of the C7R, number four car. And I'll just start here on the buttons on the steering wheel. The top one here is the radio button. Uh, and talking that, we press that when we want to talk to the team. Uh, one below that is the drink button and uh, that then you press the button when you've got this connected into your crash helmet and that squirts the water then into your mouth we only ever really want run water we don't run any sports drinks it can't becomes too funky too difficult and different guys want different things so we just stick with the plain water underneath that is the start button uh, that's for when we just wanted to pull away from a pit stop if we turn the engine off or any other time we can use this to, to start the car and then we go down here to the tc function switches so that's those two TC buttons right there. Uh, then they've got turn, turn buttons, the left and right, that you have to have racing at Le Mans. Um, the reverse button, which actually I've never used and I hope I never do. Um, that's an alarm clear button, uh, if we get an alarm up on the dash here. Next to that is, uh, or above that is the map switch button or, or, or uh, you know, toggle switch. And uh, we're being told to change that quite regularly during the race and that can be anything to do with uh, you know different engine maps or uh, slightly different throttle settings or you know all kinds of numerous different things that the team are working on all the time. Already talked about these two here. Um, this is quite important coming in for a pit stop is the stop button that stops the engine. Pit lane speed limit set at the 37 miles an hour and then this this is the flash button flashes the lights. Coming up behind the slower car wanted to flash the lights to pass a guy. On the back of the wheel we've got the paddles. That's the upshift paddle on the right side here and the downshift on the left side here. One of the things that we've actually got on this, this column and this steering wheel is a tilt system. So when we come into a pit stop and we need to get out of the car, we just flick this handle here and it's spring loaded and it, it pops that up. So Tommy and I can now get in and out of the car without actually to remove the wheel, which is very, very helpful. All kinds of things up here on the display. So on here, we've got tire pressures. We've got the amount of fuel that's left in the tank. 
the amount of fuel that we've used, gallons in, in the lap. That's a TC number. That's the yaw number, you know, going back to the steering wheel here on all those different settings that we're going, with, we're adjusting as we're going around with the TC. Engine map. That's the amount of laps that we've done in a stint. This is quite important for us, uh, the, the lap time and then the time gain loss and how much slower or faster we are to the datum lap. Uh, this is the fuel predict number, that's the speed, and uh, obviously the gear, gear position, and then also the battery voltage here, and any alarm, and the engine's not running, so you know, that's one of the reasons why that's flashed up. Down the side here, we've got um, LEDs, and these are flashing blue when we've got wheel spin, and then flashing red when we're locking a wheel. So if we're locking the right front, this one, starts to illuminate and we were locking the left front this one starts to illuminate so then going over here to this console we've got the rear view camera and the the uh, collision avoidance system that uh, Pratt and Miller have developed with Bosch a great system and so this picks up vehicles behind us as they're coming up behind us prototype cars down the left hand side you've got the meters that the car is behind you and then the seconds that the car is behind you and that comes up in a little dot. But when the car is there, there's a little chevron above it that appears on the screen. And as the car's catching you, that goes from uh, green to yellow to red. And then as it goes by you, then there's an arrow. And that color of the arrow and the color of the chevron above the car will change depending on how quickly it's catching you and then passing you. So that's a very useful system. Over here, it's somewhat difficult to see maybe, but we've got all the different switches. So we've got two starters switches. That's to get neutral. Uh, that's an emergency emergency switch for, uh, for, for certain things. And then there's an electrical override system. Fuel reserve button, which we don't usually have to use because it's all automatic. Headlight switch. So we toggle through those to turn the headlights on and also the, the lights inside here, inside the car. AC, so we can then turn it up. It, we only really use this at the very long races, and it's say if it's for very, very cold, then we can certainly turn the, the AC off and not have it running the whole time, which is kind of nice sometimes. Because sometimes it get, does get too cold, particularly with the air blowing into your helmet. The wiper, it turns it on and off. That's the steering, but we don't actually use that that much. Function, that's another thing. If there's something gone slightly awry inside the car, we can, you can adjust the function switch. That's the master power switch. And then this is the dimmer, and that dims, that dims the display here. And also all of the shift lights that you have. The shift lights come up across here for, for shifting the gear. So one is the lowest setting, and we usually run it on about five during the day. And then the page, page switch, you adjust that, and it changes the display just here. And we can look at all kinds of different things on the display. Brilliant. Then we've got the uh, fire bottle button and radio underneath that. And then of course we've got the the uh, brake balance adjustment here. So there's plenty to look at inside the car here. We've got a pretty busy cockpit, but all of these items, we're using them all of the time that we're driving. Uh, we are certainly trying to be, uh, the team are trying to be as interactive with us uh, as we possibly can. Uh, and you know, it's just it's it's a way that we found that a lot of these systems are very very useful for us to get through certain situations and outcomes in races. And it's all all about being prepared and making sure that you've got a, nearly everything covered. So that's the cockpit of the C7R. Hey, now for some reason you just happen to click this video and you've joined us this far into the vlog. I do appreciate that. Welcome. You're kind of remotely interested in Corvette racing. Well, this next segment is the promo video for the 24 Hour Le Mans 2018. By the time you're done watching this, you'll be a fan and you'll be sitting on the edge of your seat. This race is like no other. The endurance of man and machine is tested to their absolute limits. Here, we are forced to prove our strength and resolve. Every turn demands absolute perfection. The race is always ready to claim its next victim. 
with treacherous conditions and extreme fatigue. We never back down. We push ahead. We are prepared for the battle and to fight to the very end. 24 hours. Le Mans, June 16, 2018. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed those segments and today's upload. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch our vlog. I know I say that all the time, but it is sincere. So thanks a lot for taking the time to join us. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel and you make a comment in today's video, you'll have an opportunity to win one of these uh, fun little prizes that are relative to Corvette racing. Okay, there's going to be five prizes on the vlog today. This is three, four, and five. It consists of a 2019 brochure, a Corvette racing folder, a YouTube logo hat pin, and a very limited, this was a one run only C7R Hot Wheels car. So three, four, and five, you get that. And second place is gonna consist of a 2019 brochure, a Corvette racing folder, YouTube logo hat pin, and a 1 18th scale die cast Corvette YouTube logo car. Now first place will be a 2019 brochure, Corvette racing folder, YouTube logo hat pin, a 143rd Corvette racing car. Check this out too, it's a pullback. <laughs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then this very limited, this is the only place in the planet you'll find a 118th scale wrapped, camouflaged Corvette die cast right here on this channel, custom made by us. Well, I'm not gonna make it complicated. This is gonna be fun, it is gonna be simple. Here's the deal. If you're a subscriber to this channel, thank you, I appreciate that. Then you're eligible to win. All you gotta do is make a comment below on the YouTube channel. You can just say hi, and you're entered. It's that easy. I'll do a random draw next week, and I'll announce the winners just before we show you Chris's PDI of his 2019 Sebring Orange Z06 Corvette. And don't forget, folks, this weekend is Father's Day. I'll have a special vlog for you on Sunday. Some of you have seen this video. It's been all over Facebook, but I'm going to share it for you here on our channel just in case you missed it. And if you don't cry while you see this video, then you're not human. Oh, and don't forget, go Corvette!